Well, Christmas is coming, so before we get to the big day, I'm going to practice my timings and my methods for making the various accompaniments. Because obviously with a massive great turkey taking up the whole main oven, it's a great idea to use the Ninja Foodie Max egg grill blah 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 fryer what have you to make the accompaniments. So first off I'm going to show you how to make pigs in blankets. Okay so to start with I've got a load of supermarket chipolatas. On the day I'll probably use some really good ones from the butcher but for now we'll do that because that's what most people have accessible. Uh, they're the finest from, from uh, the supermarket I went to. I've also got streaky bacon. You want streaky, preferably, rather than back or middle, because middle's really long and is back and streaky, whereas back is just the wrong shape. This, you want it so that you can wrap it around. Okay, so it's nice and easy. All you do, you get your chipolata, you get your bit of streaky bacon, and you roll it round. Now the advantage over buying ready-made pigs in blankets is you, you get to choose your sausage. You get to choose your bacon. Do you want smoked bacon? Do you want unsmoked bacon? Do you want um, Cumberland sausage, sausage with, with apple in it? Do you want Lincolnshire sausage? Do you want high meat content ones from the butchers? Do you want them ones made of... Made of um, all manner of unmentionables that taste of nothing. You know, you can you can just choose everything. So this is dead easy. Just literally wrap it round. Now the bacon will will baste and flavour the sausage as well, and you end up with lots of nice deliciousness. So you should eventually end up with something a bit like this. Okay, so I've prepared them all, as you can see here. So now we're going to start with cooking. So, switch your Foodie Max on. I've got a choice of the air fry, okay, which is one option. That's with um, the open sort of grill pan thing, which the grill one is as well. Grill, the air fry might work. The grill will work, but I run the risk of burning the outside, i.e. The, um, the bacon also leaves me with a roast and a bake. I think I'm going to go for roast on this occasion because that's what I'd be doing with the turkey. So I'm going to hit roast, so in 120, sorry, it's saying 180 degrees, 25 minutes. The time doesn't really matter. So I'll put a start stop and we'll wait for it to heat up. Just going to whip it open and give it a little spray of that on the bottom. This is my Frylight Guild and Sun Flavor cooking spray. Other sprays are available. Remember, don't use olive oil because it'll burn. So we're just going to wait for this now. So it's now come up with add food. So we are going to add food. Pop them in here, it's all lovely. I can hear them sizzling on the bottom already, like a, like a frying pan. I've also rolled up my excess bits of bacon. Now, in my family, we never had pigs in blankets. It didn't, didn't feature. What we would do instead, what my dad would do, we'd make the... Um, Streaky bacon into little rolls, like that, on a skewer. So they'd be separate to the chipolatas. Right, so there we go, we're gonna pop that on, and then we're gonna leave it now for a little while and just keep checking sporadically. Okay, so it's had five minutes. Let's check the state of play. Five minutes on roast. Yeah, they're coming up nicely. I can see that the fat is starting to render, but uh, they're gonna need another while so I'll check when it hits 15 so obviously the smells of the pigs in blankets have uh, got her excited we're now 15 
So we've had 10 minutes in, it's reached 15 on the counter and all oh, they're starting to look good. I'm now going to turn them over just so that uh, the undersides and the top sides are getting sort of similar treatment. At least another five minutes needed. So we're coming up to the 15 minute mark, as in they've been in 15 minutes and the countdown is saying 10 minutes left. So let's have a look. Okay, so I flipped them a few minutes ago. They're probably cooked through. They're still a bit paler than I want. Okay, now if I'm going to add these to, to my roast turkey, I would probably take them out now and just leave them somewhere warm to stick in with the turkey right at the end. But we're going to eat them as is in a little while. So I'm going to give them about another five minutes, I guess, so that they're completely cooked as they would be, i.e. finished off at the end. So I'm going to pop that one there. That one's cooked best out of the lot. Um, it's already crisping up nicely because I, I want them to have a bit more colour. I want them to have a bit more, yeah, a bit more uh, crispiness, shall we say. Now obviously this has taken quite a long time so far, 15 minutes already, but that's usually the case when you do them in the oven. I could have obviously put the temperature up to 200 or more. Um, but so far so good. They're gonna taste delicious. They haven't burned and that's the main thing. We're almost there. So this is gonna be the results of 20 minutes, 180 degrees on the roast setting. And that is exactly what I want. So I'm going to switch off. I'm going to leave it to rest a little while. Then I'm going to open them up and plate them. Now that to me looks like a perfect plate load of perfect pigs in blankets. 20 minutes, 180 degrees roast setting. Looks marvellous. Take a bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Brilliant. Mmm. It's hot. It's cooked through. The fat has largely rendered off the bacon. Flavoured the chip lots beautifully. These are absolutely spot on. Remember, knock five minutes off if you're going to sling them in to finish off with the turkey right at the end or just time it so that uh, they're ready to go at the end or just eat them cooler.